Hello, this is Kai reporting for the Family Broadcasting Network. Today, I am going to show you how to build a telegraph. I am going to tell you some of the history about the telegraph before I show you how I made mine. Samuel F. B. Morris was a Christian man who believed that messages could be sent over long distances through a wire by electricity. So he invented the telegraph. He believed that his invention would work. He was determined to make it work and even went without food to work on his experiments. Finally, after several years of hard work, Samuel Morris received a grant from Congress that allowed him to build a telegraph line from Washington, D.C. to Baltimore, Maryland, a distance of about 40 miles. In order to communicate with the telegraph, Morse developed a code of short and long dots and dashes in which letters of the alphabet and numbers could be tapped over the telegraph wires. This code was called the Morse Code. In May of 1844, the telegraph was ready for its first test. Morse tapped out a short sentence that read, What hath God brought? Within a few seconds, his assistant in Baltimore received the message on his telegraph. The telegraph was a major success, and by 1861, telegraph wires had been stretched from the East Coast to the West Coast of the United States. Now I'll demonstrate how I made my telegraph. First you need a block of wood, then you need two screws, long screw and a short screw. And you need a nut that can go onto the long screw. Then two AA batteries, one light, a piece of metal, electrical wire, then you need a screwdriver, then you need solder, then a soldering iron. Step one, you get the long screw with nut and piece of metal and screw it into board. Step two, you get the small small screw and you screw it in. Step three is to put the wire on to the short screw. Then you solder it onto the battery. Step four, solder short, shorter one, shorter wire onto the better. Step five is to solder that small wire onto another battery. Step six is to wrap this above the metal piece. Then solder the other end of it. Do the light bulb. Now, solder 
shorter wire onto the light. I became interested in the telegraph when I read about it in the encyclopedia. I decided that I can make one. I did not have a buzzer, so instead I used a large LED light. Next step is to solder the short wire back onto the battery. And that's it. This is a diagram of my telegraph. All electrical devices need a closed circuit to work. A closed circuit is an electrical path with no brakes in it. The short screw is connected to a wire that's connected to both batteries. Then is then connected to a wire that connects to one end of the LED light. Then the other end is connected to a wire that's connected to the long screw that has the metal piece on it. But this is still called an open circuit. So to make it a closed circuit, you have to press the metal piece down to touch the short screw. Then that will be a closed circuit and the LED light will turn on. Now I will demonstrate how to say hi. In Morse code, letters are represented by dots and dashes. The letter H is four dots and the letter I is two dots. This is how it looks on my telegraph. Thank you for listening. This has been Kyle George reporting for the Family Broadcasting Network.